Hey, man. Yes, your buddy Apex here. This is a continuation from the second in Charles Hall from, gosh, Thanksgiving weekend. Ah, I was a bit of an interference from the last video. I couldn't really continue. I had, oh, you know, mom needing some stuff, so I uh, didn't know really what to do or edit that sort of thing. I was like, screw it. I'll stop it. Continue on. For this one, continuation, this is from X Factor Giant Size, what is it? No, X Factor Annual number 5 from 1990. Oh, it's pretty cool, crazy. This reminds me a bit, this is a John Bogdanovy artwork. It reminds me a bit of uh, Walt Simonson in a way. Very dynamic, expressive figures all the way through. You got Jean Grey, Marvel Girl. And her, well, her phoenix, whatever she calls herself. <laughs> it's a beautiful landscape of the city, the skyscrapers, man. You can tell it's a reference. Well, New York reference, right? Looks like the Empire State Building, I believe. Yeah, I've never been in New York, so I suppose that's what it is. I'd like to go if, if it's still, you know, I want to wait till it's not as crazy as it is now <laughs> good luck well good luck new york i hope you can't get better but anyway this comic looks good for its time looks like ahab one of the first appearances of apab i think he's like the uh a mutant hunter i believe from like the future that's a be cool looking beast man this is before Bogdanovi uh, went on to draw Man of Steel, I think. Or was he doing this at the same time? I can't... I'm not familiar with his his art art and history on, on comics, or his bibliography on comics, where he's been to before. But I can tell, I know he's done some X-Men stuff. I, could, I think he did. I have to really look him up. It's a cool Jean Grey. Who drew this thing? Oh, I kind of bypassed it. Oh. Got, oh, Dave Ross. Yeah, Dave Ross penciled it. And Jeff Isherwood inked it. It's from a pure David story. I don't know what happened to Peter David. I heard he's... Well... I heard he's either... Uh, I don't know. I have to... <laughs> Some people on YouTube have been talking about it. I don't know if it's rumors or what, but, you know, did, did he whack out or something? I have no idea. Surely he's getting work, and I mean, he's, he's a good writer, I mean, as far as I know. I hope he hasn't gone all woke or anything. <laughs> that would suck. But, uh, you know, you're good creators. You really... Dive into what you do. Get into it. Don't let politics decide what, what on your future, man. It's ridiculous. Screw politics. <laughs> just do what you do and just get better at writing or drawing. Life is a lot more than this stupid, ridiculous politics. It is a kizar. This is Brent Anderson. This guy was the artist for, uh, oh, God, what was that? Oh, Astro City, yeah. That's some good Brett Anderson work. Got Carlos Garzon doing inks. This is cool. This is the, it's really getting into it. These books are slowly gaining in some value, the Khazars. Especially ones from the 70s, which I do have. I'm lucky to get them at a really decent price. These are like, these are like 295 over at uh, Second Charles. But the, I got this one, what was it? It's very cheap. I think it was maybe a dollar or something. I'm not sure. But very cheap. Uh, but if you go to cheap, uh, you want cheap comics at, a good rate some good comics like these 
You can go to Second Charles, see what they have for you. There's some other, uh, Second Charles is owned by Books A Million. They're like a half price store, more, more of a price, half price store. Sometimes you can, you can get even further than just half off. I mean, occasionally they got sales. I love it when they had the buy five, get five free. That's when you could really stack up on comics. Really cool. Some good work, man. I'm deal, looking up the news. <laughs> the Gil Kane sort of way. <laughs> yeah. So there's, uh, there's some there. You got, yeah, you got more. Kazar. There you go. Oh, shoot. I should open it. Who can it hurt, man? You have plenty of time. You got Kazar the Savage. Continue somewhere. I've got to read this. Bruce Jones wrote stories. Yeah, Bruce Jones. Uh, Bruce Jones, uh, author of Thirty Days of Night with Ben Temple Smith. I think uh, is that right? Or am I? No, no, it's Steve Niles. Sorry, my bad. Bruce Jones did some horror stuff before and some other type of uh, genres. Pretty cool. But yeah, he's. I'm not sure, but is he still around or not? Oh, he might be. But yeah, man, some good storytelling in here. Well, what, what's the deal about the bird people? I gotta read through this. I do have one or two. I guess I gotta read through these. It's pretty great stuff. Yeah, let's go to the Master of Kung Fu. These, I... You don't really see much at Second Charles, except for the newer ones. But I like to collect the ones with the original Shang Chi. You know, the guy looks actually like a long-haired Bruce Lee <laughs> with his gi pants on. That's the same Shang Chi I remember. I don't remember this Ten Rings stuff that Marvel put out for a movie. Yeah. I think it's well. It was okay when I saw it first time in the theaters. I start. Looking at it and seeing some of the reviews on it too at the same time. There's a lot of holes in that movie. Plus, I really don't like the actor that plays Shane Chi. They should get a guy who looks like Bruce Lee with long hair and just wear a gi pants. That would take place in the 70s. That's probably be your best bet for a Shane Chi movie. In my humble opinion, of course. But yeah, man. Wow, look at all this good action here. Gene Day, I think he took over the art from Mike Zeck, if I'm not mistaken. But Gene Day inks, uh, I remember inking a lot of people there, but he started actually writing all straight himself. He did a fine job. He may have inked Galassi, if I'm not mistaken. Paul Galassi. Which I do want to have him on Apex After Dark. Or one of my streaming shows. Ah, if you guys know how to get in touch with Paul Galassi. Oh man, let me know. In comments below. Or of course I'm at Comics Apex on Twitter if you want to catch me. Uh, send me a DM. Yeah. Hmm. Good issue here. This is the Avengers 268. I have 269 somewhere. I know it's in my Avengers box. Kang Dynasty. It's part of the Kang Dynasty. Roger Stern. You got Busima, Breakdowns. Tom Palmer. Finished art. Yes. Christy Shu. Mark Greenwald. Jim Shooter. Yeah. See all that stuff. It's Tom Palmer, man. Such a splendid artist himself. I'm sure Busima may have done a rush job. Putting all the layouts, but Tom Palmer seems to have done the finished pencils, the inks. Because he may look like Busima. He make any artist look good. He's so talented. Wow. That's what Kang looks like. Damn MCU. <laughs> Stop screwing up the characters for the movies. Make him. Yeah, just do some research. 
for once. Not the characters. I know what they did before. Before I went to, you know what. I'd say Endgame was pretty much the best. <laughs> The last, the coffin and the nail for the MCU. I guess we all know where that headed afterwards. Boy. Ah, this looks good. Oh, Kang. Is this the growing man? You punch him and he grows. How do you defeat a guy like that? You'd have to, like, teleport him somewhere. But you can't strike at him. Ah. Ugh, this is a growing man. What a name. Yeah. You got... Yeah, of course, this is the burn run on the Hulk. I have 314 somewhere, but it's 315, 316. Continues a bit of a three-part story, I think. I think 317 may have been the last burn one. I, I may have that. I'm not sure. But yeah, man, this is the 315. Beautiful burn Hulk here. Freedom! Blam, blam. He wants to break open. That's when he's stuck in a big cave for reinforced concrete in New Mexico. Somehow Banner is separated from the Hulk. That's pretty effing weird. I don't know how that... Oh, boy. So this could be... This is all in the Hulk's head, I think. You got Doc Samson and Betty Ross... This is like the, this is the Hulk Buster base. <laughs> I remember the Hulk Buster base. Burn splendid. Look at that. I wrote it and just penciled it. Who inked the damn thing? I think it was, that's Keith Williams, man. It's pretty good. Go Burn. Great stuff, man. All right. Let's look at that 316 here. Wow. Ah, gosh, you got She-Hulk. Ha ha. What is this? This was 86. This is before he actually wrote and drew She-Hulk. Yeah. Big success he did with She-Hulk in the comics. Burn, you can't go wrong with Burn. Look at all this. Beautiful action. Just trying to get... Well, he's getting trashed by the Avengers. Screw that noise. <laughs> you guys are going to get hurt. <laughs> oh. Get out. Wait. He just comes out. Swing him. Pounding. Boom. I love that. Rawr, and the submariner comes in. So I strike at him. Brr. You can't put the Hulk down. You bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> ah, and Doc Samson had to get in the middle of it. Yes, this is great. Ah, oh, this is what caught my eye. This is a Wolverine Punisher. Marvel's finest. I'm Revelations. I remember having the first issue. I think I may have it. This is the complete... This is the... Uh, Trade paperback. I only bought it for two ninety five. Wow, it's going for what? It's going for like four. It's going for fourteen ninety five. I'll say more than half. I tell you that. Some cool ass punishers. Look at that. It's really awesome. Bit of a manga style. Pat Lee, I think. Uh, yeah. Pencils, Alvin Lee, except they're brothers or cousins. I'm not sure. This really looks cool. Yeah. Revelations. Huh. Little manga style. Really nice. Oh, I like the motorcycle action. It's really cool. Some brilliant layouts. A lot of the Pat Lee stuff. Uh, what is that? The early 2000s? Do you think he uh, put it together? I don't know what day this is. What what's the date? What's the date, Revelations? When did it come out? Oh, 99, 2000, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Whoa. It's like in Tokyo. Where is this? Yeah. Ooh, Revelation. Look at that, man. 
Got the bone claws. This is cool. This looks great. Now, who is it? Wait, someone's hand was grabbing Wolverine by the head. What was that? There's Daredevil. Cool. Uh, Did I catch it all? Yeah. Whoa. What does he have? Can a Punisher see stuff? Ah, what kind of crap is that? <laughs> Why's his eyeballs going? Is where the Punisher? What does he see evil before it happens? Ah, uh, I'm about to read through this. Yes, this looks good. Oh God, I have a detached cover. Oh, no wonder it was cheap. Shite, the glue came off. Ah, no wonder. Well, that's all right. It's good reader's copy. All right, please like, ring bell for notifications, all that cool stuff that you do on the YouTubes. Yeah, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful works of awesome art. God bless you guys, every one of you. Peace. Ciao for now.